Hi everybody, welcome back to Inside the Hem. Um, temperatures are on the up and up down here in Charleston, yes, which means summer is here. Um, Memorial Day was just a few days ago, which is the official start of summer. So we thought we would share with you guys some of our go-to summer sewing patterns. And we actually have 10 of them collectively, five each. So let's get started. All right. You want to go first? You want me to go first? You go. Okay. So I am starting with my, this is my all-time favorite pattern. doesn't matter if it's really summer or anything. This is the one I've made the most of, and I, I just love it. I still love it. It is the Sewholic Salt Spring. I think I've made three or four of these now. Um, it has um, blousing in the front, tie spaghetti straps that I just love. Mm -hmm. Also makes it nice because it's easy to adjust. It's you true. can just tie it tighter. Um, you can make it knee length or maxi length. I like the maxi length the best. I think it's Couldn't it's you also really make it a shirt? Yes. So I, this is my next on my sewing list. Oh. Um, I will probably make another dress, but I really want to make um, a tank out of it. I saw on their blog that they did a bit of a hack where um, they added like a, a ruffle to the bottom. So I'm going to do that. And I've got a couple other things in my mind that have pinned on Pinterest that I'm going to try to change the pattern up and make some tank tops for that too. So Cute. love this pattern. Yep, that's a good one. My first one is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, it is McCall's 7118. Um, I do have some pictures of this on our Instagram and Twitter at Inside the Hem if you're not following us already. Mm -hmm. But basically, it just is a pretty basic, I don't know, like swing dress or just kind of like a loose fitting dress, but the back is super cute. Um, this one has like double crisscross strip straps. Let me try and show you here so you can see those. Um, which is really cute. And then there's also another version that has like a really long extended keyhole back. It goes all the way from the top of your neck down to like just past your bra line. So you do need kind of like a fancy bra to wear with it. But, um, but yeah, it's just so nice and loose fitting. Mm -hmm. And it just, to me, if you pick a beautiful floral fabric like this one, it just really screams summertime. Yes. So this is my first one. McCall 7118. And I have that pattern too, so I'll definitely be sewing it up now that I see yours. I love it. Yeah, it's only like three or four pieces, pattern pieces. Mm -hmm. It was super easy. Yeah, very good. All right, so my next is a shorts pattern. This is the Colette Iris. This is one of the first um, patterns I ever sewed Me up. Me too, maybe the second. Yeah, um, it comes together really nicely. Shorts might seem a little intimidating, but this sews up just like like a skirt really I mean mm -hmm. it's just there's really no different it's got an invisible zipper on the side so you don't have to worry about um, a fly fly facing that can get a little tricky um, and I also feel like the side zipper helps with shaping too mm -hmm. it helps not have that gape in the back for mm -hmm. whatever reason yeah um, there are these slip pockets in the front um, I put these pockets in just for the detail, but they're not very functional. If you put your cell phone in the front, you got this like big massive thing on your thigh, which isn't very cute. But other than that, I really, really like these shorts. They're like, you can make these in about three hours. So it's totally. a nice kind of easy sew. Yeah. And if you've never made shorts before, Colette is really good at their instructions and talking yes. you through things for the first time. Mm -hmm. So the if you're nervous about good. how to like make a crotch, mm -hmm. um, Colette's a good one to start with for sure. Yeah. And these take like no fabric at all. If you have 60 inch wide fabric, it's a yard. So really, really nice. I've made them out of a heavy linen before. Mm -hmm. Um, I like this one. I like yeah. that. Great shorts pattern. My next one is maybe not something you would consider initially, but it's mm. a really cute tote bag. Um, I think in the summertime we are headed to the pool, we're headed to the park, we're headed to the beach, we're headed mm. out and about. And having a really cute functional tote is just a lot of fun and why not make your own? This one has a, a few different um, style lines. You can have a horizontal line, you can have some diagonal lines. And I just love that they used um, what's that stuff called? It's almost like mattress ticking. Yeah, yeah. You know what I, I mean? Like the out. underside of a mattress, mm -hmm. if you think about that, it's really cute. It looks like they have corduroy and maybe some different kinds of burlap, but they've gone in like kind of the neutral scheme, which is mm -hmm. really adorable. But you could yeah. also brighten this up and use really fun, big Lily Pulitzer type prints too, and it would be really cute. Um, I wonder so. if you could uh, use oil cloth for it, make it like um, a 
pool bag that wouldn't get so wet. Or yeah, I totally beach. think like version C. Version mm -hmm. A is a little bit boxier on the bottom, yeah. so I think that would kind of just sunk, sink in the middle. But C is like a thinner one. And what is D? Is that an insert? Oh, like those um things they sell I've seen on TV. Yeah, those it's like kangaroo a, pocket thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like an organizer yeah, that goes so you inside. Can take it out of one bag and put it in. Like a dot bag. kit kind of. Yeah. Oh, and then like a little, is that supposed to be a wallet? It's like a little envelope, envelope looking thing. Anyways, this is apparently a much more versatile yes. pattern than even I realized. <laughs> but so yeah, try and make a tote this summer. I think it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, very cute. All right, so the next one I picked here is the Soaholic Camby. And I picked this one um, in case you guys have any plans for summer weddings. I, um, I've made this myself. There's two versions. I've made the, um, the one that doesn't have the gathered skirt. The gathered skirt calls a lot for a lot of fabric. Um, but I saw on, I don't remember whose blog I've seen this on. I'll try to look for it. But they, um, they just had one bridesmaid in their wedding and they made the dress out of like a silk dupioni mm. and it just looked like the most gorgeous bridesmaid's dress. So I think, um, it's, if, even if you're not a bridesmaid or going to be in the wedding, just the perfect kind of really pretty feminine dress yeah. to wear to a wedding. And their directions are really great. Um, the dress comes out beautiful. It's got this little sweetheart and then the gathering of the sleeves. I mean, the bodice Love of it. this just screams romance. Yes. I definitely want to make another one. Oh, we have a friend that actually made the gathered skirt version. She, out of polka dot, and she wore it with pearls. She just looked adorable. So I really want to make um, the one with the gathered skirt, too. Yeah, super good. And it has just the the vertical darts, no side darts. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. back to that too. one. Yeah. Um, my next one is a knit pattern. Knit, easy, comfortable, nothing too constraining. Um, this one is actually either a tank peplum, a tank dress, or a little short sleeve peplum or short sleeve dress. So it's actually pretty versatile. You could make, depending on what fabric you chose, you could make the short sleeve version and wear it, you know, several months out of the year mm -hmm. here in Charleston or throw a cardigan over it. Yeah. I have made this out of like a scuba knit, a really lightweight scuba knit, and I, I really love it. I get a lot of compliments on it. Super, super easy to make. You just fold over the edges. There's barely any hemming to do. Um, I don't know, which is really easy to come together. So um, yeah, a knit top or a knit dress for summertime, I think that, that those two things kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, I'll have to look at yours because I actually have that pattern, but I've never- Oh, you do? Yeah, I've never sewn anything. Yeah, like this it. one's cool because it has princess seams and also raglan sleeves, which you don't mm, see that combination yeah. very often. So you could, if you wanted to really emphasize that, do some piping or even do like contrast fabric on the side. I mean, I feel like you could have a lot of fun just making this, but the wearability of it for the summertime is, is pretty perfect. Oh, and it's um, McCall's 6754. All right, so this next one here, I actually have not sewn yet, but I was just on, um, I get a lot of my inspiration for what I make from anthropology so I go on there and I look at their stuff and I pin it out to my Pinterest board and I was just on there this morning and they had a top out of this version um, version a where it's um, just an overlay in the back and, it, and it's open um, I think I'm gonna eliminate the ties um, to make it more look like the one I saw on their website um, but I'm thinking about doing maybe a sheer overlay or I just love layers I'm seeing it everywhere in stores right now layers over layers so <laughs> I'm gonna give that one a try and see how it comes out um, it's also nice and cool it's a tank top for the summer so. so you would do sheer on the underneath part no oh sheer on just this back okay um, and then the front I don't know I have to I haven't even opened it to look at how it's constructed um, so I imagine it. it's a combination of this shortened and open more mm -hmm, probably I've got plenty of fabric to come up with something <laughs> <laughs> that looks like this. It could be even pretty with like some, maybe some eyelet on that bottom layer. I think so. I think it could be really anything. Really anything. True. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My next one is 1663 and this is a shorts, skirt, skirt with an overlay and also palazzo pants, which are those like really easy breezy wide leg pants, mm -hmm. um, all in one pattern. I have made um, the skirt with the little overlay and 
I don't know. It's like a mini skirt underneath and the overlay on top. And when you walk around and the summer breeze comes <laughs> through the skirt, I don't know, you just start to feel a little bit more fabulous than yeah. maybe you normally do. <laughs> um, and I mean, palazzo pants. It's basically pajamas in public, mm -hmm. um, depending on which fabric you choose. If you get one that's nice and really silky, but still has some drape to it, like maybe mm -hmm. a um, rayon chalet or mm -hmm. um, even a crepe maybe would be yeah. good. Anyways, um, I don't know. I just love this as a separate, you know, with the, with the multiple options. Yeah, lots of options. And um, just really light and easy and just summertime. Mm -hmm. Looks like a quick sew too. Yeah, it was. Actually, the overlay, though, does have either one slit or two slits. And I remember that being a little bit tricky. But that was a few years ago. Well, and you also did that of a very sheer, finicky kind of fabric. So, well, it's supposed sure. to be sheer overlay. Her right, but it's always sheer. harder to hem something. Like yeah. That, make it look good. And like I said, it was a couple of years ago. So maybe my skills have gotten a yeah. little bit more advanced <laughs> since then. I hope so. Okay, so my last pattern here is McCall 7093. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, really nice for, you know, if you, not everybody loves wearing tank tops. I know my mom doesn't wear tank tops, but she still wants to feel cool in the summer. So I like that it has a really short kind of sleeve so it doesn't cover up too much more than a tank top would. But I really like the piecing on this one. It's a raglan sleeve. Um, then the back actually wraps around to the front. So I think it's just really fun to pick a different couple of fabrics and pair them together because if you, mine I chose, um, the fabric that's on the front is on the back so then it wraps around to the side so it ties it all together um, and it, it comes together really nicely. I really like this pattern. Um, this, I, um, people wouldn't see this even from the pattern but this, there's a seam from here to here that yeah, creates it's, like a cap for the sleeve, even yeah. though it's raglan. It's like a dart, actually. That's, to me, that I've never seen that. That's yeah. so genius. Yeah, I think it was an like an open dart. I can't, I can't remember. I made this last spring, I think. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it like, creates a little cap kind of sleeve. Yeah. Then. It just seems more <laughs> flattering than a regular. Because if you just did a regular raglan sleeve, this would be like all pokey out like this. Yeah. And it just wouldn't be cute. But this actually makes it flattering to the mm -hmm. arm, which I think... For some women could be difficult yeah yes yeah. i'll be making another one of these this is also this morning on anthropology they had a top it was a swing top so i'm going to try to swing it out and like slash and spread it and see if i can recreate the same kind of effect but it had the same kind of seam that wrapped around to the front but it was more of a swing top which mm -hmm. would be even breezier for summer so true to try to do that is that your last one that's my last this one. is my last one um so i had to pick a romper because again comfort, easy, breezy, light. Um, of course you can make rompers out of a ton of different fabrics. I've seen them ready to wear in everything from really, really light, like poly rayons, mm -hmm. all the way up to like chambray and things like that. Mm -hmm. So depending on the fabric that you choose, I mean, this could be a pretty versatile pattern too. Um, this McCall 7366 has an option for shorts and an option for pants. So again, depending on your fabric, depending on where you want to wear it, if it needs to be for work or whatever, you can make it out of suiting. Um, if it's just for the weekends, you can make it out of really anything you want. But um, I just really love the shorts version with a little wrap. This is this little slit down to the belly button's a little much, but um, <laughs> you sure would be a little cooler in it. <laughs> yes, that, talk about easy breezy. Yeah. Um, but there's a really cute wrap version, and I don't know, wraps seem summery to me mm -hmm. too for some reason, even yeah. a faux wrap. So, so yeah. Um, but any romper, any romper for summer is gonna be is gonna be great. Very cute. So there you That's have it. Yep, those are our ten go to summer patterns. Obviously, we will link all of the patterns down below so you can mm -hmm. find the ones um, that we mentioned in this video. Um, but if you've never sewn any of these types of garments before, um, try them out. Wear them this summer and see how wearable they are and how many times you actually reach for them in your mm -hmm. closet. I think that, you know, you would grab for them a lot more if you sewed for the season. Yeah. So, so. yeah. Give cool. them a try. We'd love to know what you're sewing up for the summer. Um, yeah. You Please leave them in the comments below if you've got any other great ideas that you think we need to hear about. Yeah. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And of course, um, lots of these patterns um, we've already made and are on our Instagram. So make sure you follow us 
on all of our social media accounts at Inside the Hemp. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>